The Department of Defense has hundreds of thousands of end items, encompassing thousands of different types and models, ranging from small arms to radars to tanks, aircraft. Many of these weapon systems and other end items are complex systems with many expensive components. For many of these components, when they fail or are replaced in scheduled maintenance, it costs less to replace them with a repaired, refurbished spare part rather than buy a new one. Such items are called reparables within the DoD. Don't get too hung up on the differences between repairable and reparable. Think of reparable as like the end item part, like a saw is reparable. You don't throw the saw away when the saw blade um, is no longer useful. You can throw the blade away and replace it. Therefore, the saw is reparable. But the saw blade is also repairable. You can actually get it sharpened. The fact is you don't use the saw blade by itself. You have to put that blade inside of the saw to make the saw whole. So think of the differences that way and that'll help you out. Just because it is reparable does not mean that we do actually repair it. It just means that it physically is reparable. It might cost too much to repair it and therefore it still might be economically savvy to actually buy a brand new Parts that are not economical to repair or cannot be repaired are termed consumables. Broadly speaking, if the repair of the part is going to cost 75% or more of the brand new price of that item, then you would typically want to call that part a consumable and not repair it. Depending on the technical skill and tooling and equipment needed for component repairs, DOD designates different levels of maintenance to conduct such repairs with depot level repair representing the most sophisticated level, requiring highly skilled labor and specialized tools and facilities. Reparables for which all or some of the repairs require this level of capability are called depot level repairables or DLRs. These repairs require the use of consumable spare parts or even nested reparables. Consumables are also sometimes directly replaced on end items like an engine oil filter or something small like that. So the oil filter is being changed out on the engine. The filter is being thrown away. It's a consumable. But the person doing that maintenance is probably in the field, which is the third level of maintenance. The second level of maintenance is intermediate level, which is between the depot level and the field level. Intermediate level has been slowly going away, but they still exist. Within DOD, the services manage almost all reparables, particularly the DLRs, for the end items they manage. So like the Air Force will manage the reparables for the B-1 bomber. Um, and the Army might manage the reparables for a certain tank. Now DLA, the Defense Logistics Agency, they're gonna manage the bulk of consumable spare parts. Those are the parts that are consumable, remember. Consumable is basically throwaway items. Within the services, DLRs and other secondary items are managed by the Air Force Material Command, the Army Material Command, the Naval Supply System Command, and the Marine Corps Logistics Command. Item management includes demand and supply planning, including inventory management. Supported by service-specific information systems, item managers direct the supply system to send the unserviceable DLR to a maintenance activity for repair when needed in accordance with their overall supply plan. Accounted for forecasted and planned demand, as well as production capabilities, their supply plans are designed to provide sufficient availability of DLRs for replacement on end items to meet readiness needs in the field and to support depot and end item programs while minimizing inventory. In short, item managers aim to meet targeted service level goals and readiness needs as efficiently as possible. And when I say item managers, it's item managers, material managers, equipment specialists, logistics management specialists, program managers. It's the whole team of people. I hope this video was useful. And if it was, leave a comment below. Let me know how and also subscribe. That'll help me grow my channel and continue creating videos like this.